गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर शैलेश गुप्ता कंसल्टेंट मिनिमल एक्सेस बिरयाटिक एंड रोबोटिक सर्जन फॉर मैक्स पेपर एंड वैशाली एंड नोएडा सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द सेकंड चैप्टर ऑफ द क्रिप्टो ऑर्किडिज्म दिस इज द लास्ट पार्ट सो इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन एपिडेमियोलॉजी इंसिडेंस एम्ब्रियोलॉजी पैथोजेनेसिस क्लिनिकल फीचर्स डायग्नोसिस एंड कॉम्प्लिकेशंस now this part uh, will contain treatment basically as we are surgeon so i am going to describe the various surgical technique and uh, what are the what are the uh, uh, treatment pathways like uh, uh, european urological association has made some uh, treatment pathways uh, likewise american uh, american urological association has made certain pathway when to operate the patient and crypto orchidism treatment is all about the presentation and the time of the presentation so, so treatment varies accordingly so i have exhaustively covered this part in this uh, segment and uh, if any student of ms or even mc pediatric surgery can refer this presentation and uh, he should through with this uh, treat, treatment part easily right so again my concept my my plan is to give you the concept my plan is not to give you lot of uh, ppts so by reading the techniques if you are assisting the surgery you will able to identify the step number 1 and for the exam also you will have the some memory of the steps and you can reproduce this it also contains few videos so that make the concept clear so now i start the ppt so treatment of crypto orchidism or undescending testes is non surgical or hormonal and surgical right so two way uh, hormonal is medical treatment surgical we do orchidopexy surgery right so timing of repair timing of repair this is a very very important slide for your neat ss for your theory exam and viva exam so it we need to understand that uh, the best timing is from 6 to 18 month so the question arises so why we need to wait for 6 month the answer is from the previous lecture there is a and uh, for uh, spontaneous descent after the birth up to the 6 month because of the testosterone surge that is why we need to wait for 6 month right and as we know that if we going to wait more beyond 18 month there will be reduced fertility risk of testicular malignancy testicular torsion of trauma and inguinal hernia complication will also arises that is why the bracket is 6 to 18 month of age right this is a very important slide please remember this 6 to 18 month of age is the appropriate time of management surgical management of crypto orchidism so this is the american urological association guideline so don't worry i am going to uh, this is just a guideline i am going to describe each steps in the coming slide and we going to again go back to this right just just have a uh, gross look over it right so as we know that most important is uh, is we need to examine the patient if the patient has a bilateral non palpable testes then we need to rule out disorder of uh, 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 there could be a sexual uh, disorientation uh, disformation like uh, intersex could be there we need to uh, refer to patient to specialist right if patient do not have the bilateral non palpable uh, testes then we need to find the age as i described earlier we need to wait at least for a 6 month right and if at the 6 month patient still have a non palpable testes we need to refer to a surgery now when the surgeon examine a patient at the 6 month of the age he need to see whether the testes is palpable or non non palpable for non palpable i means unilateral non palpable because uh, before only we have said uh, bilateral non palpable patients are separately evaluated to uh, check for other uh, sexual uh, information disorders uh, they are separate so if non palpable means unilateral non palpable so if if the unilateral non palpable are there we need to examine the patient under anesthesia so under the anesthesia non palpable few non palpable testes might become palpable in that case orchidopexy is to be done which could be scrotal or inguinal if after the examination under anesthesia the testes are still non palpable we need to consider inguinal scrotal exploration uh, and uh, there could also be abdominal exploration uh, which could be laparoscopic or open and these are the method like the testes are identified we can do orchidopexy stage a single stage or flower stephen techniques uh, stage 1 or 2 stages if the vessels are entering in the internal ring inguinal exploration should be done if it is a blind ending vessel then we don't need to do anything 
and at the six month of the age, if the testes are palpable, then we need to see whether they're retractile or undescended. If they are undescended uh, testes, we need to do orchidopexy. If it is retractile, it is we, we need to do the month monetarily here uh, monitoring. So it is important to know that. Don't worry, I'm going to again come back to this. Uh, uh, basically, age is important. It is also important whether it is palpable or non-palpable. So just remember this: we need to see the testes are palpable or non-palpable. Uh, this single factor changes the treatment algorithm, right? So this this slide was for. Uh, pre pubertal children right and this is a slide of post pubertal crypto orchidism so here treatment changes accordingly right so here we need to if like a patient of 31 year old land up in the opd and he has a crypto orchidism you need to see whether the test is a palpable or non palpable if the test is a palpable if it it is a unilateral uh, uh, crypto orchidism this means the other test is in normal in position then uh, we can uh, strongly recommend orchidectomy uh, because at this age the test chances of malignancies are more. So best option would be orchidectomy. But uh, orchidopexy is also recommended, but it is a, it is a less evidence recommendation. A strongly recommend is orchidectomy. And again, if the testes were palpable and uh, a patient has a bilateral crypto orchidism, then we need to do uh, orchidopexy. If orchidopex is not possible, we are not able to bring out the testes down to the scotum. We need to do orchidectomy. And again, in case of non-palpable uh, crypto orchidism, we need to do laparoscopy. We need to uh, do a diagnostic laparoscopy. If testes are identified, we can do laparoscopic orchidectomy or orchidopexy. If vessels are entering into inguinal ring, we need to do inguinal exploration. If the blind ending vessel means it is a vanishing testes, we don't need to do anything. Don't worry, I'm going to again come to this slide. Okay, so now start the treatment part. As I told earlier, the non-surgical treatment contain the hormonal part. So medical treatment for cryptorchidism is based on the hormonal dependence of testicular descent. As I told in the uh, lecture one, so testosterone is an important factor uh, for uh, testicular descent, right? So both SCG and gonadotropin releasing hormone or LHRHR have been used to induce testicular descent. It is important to know that systemic testosterone has not been used because the key factor in testicular descent is high local level of androgens, a paracrine effect. This is a very important point. If you're going to give a systemic testosterone, it's not going to work. We need to have a high level of testosterone at the local level. That is a paracrine effect. That is why SCG and gonadotropin releasing hormone or luteinizing hormone releasing hormone have an impact. Uh, systemic testosterone doesn't play any role in this, right? So second hormone is, uh, sorry, first hormone is uh, human chronic gonadotropin, that is SCG. SCG is structurally similar to LH and stimulate endogenous testosterone production by the testes. Therapeutic dose is 15 unit given intramuscularly per square meter of body surface area twice a week for four weeks. The total dose should not exceed 15,000 unit, right? In the US, SCG is the only approved medication for undescended testes. A testicular descent of 25% is achieved with SCG and 18% with gonadotropin releasing hormone. Okay, so SCG is the approved medicine in US, and 25% in 25% of patients we can achieve testicular descent, and it stimulate endogenous testosterone uh, testosterone production. So another hormone is luteinizing hormone, uh, uh, hormone releasing hormone, LHRH. LHRH is not approved in, U in US. A typical course of therapy consists of 1.2 milligram per day in dividing doses for four weeks. And trials uh, shows that it uh, sometimes it uh, the rate of descent is 20% as compared to 5% in placebo. <laughs>